be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming back to back with bangers. Okay, check this out. Today, we're going to be covering the quickest way to arrange an R&B slash pop beat in Logic Pro 10. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. And the first things first, you have to understand what all the parts of your beat are. Okay, so one thing here, I'm going to let y'all just here what we got going I have a melody here it's a sample um, pretty much flipped it a little bit let's just check it out so that's the sample right there it also has like a higher pitch one too I also have like this vox uh, or these vocals right here that I'm going to use for the hook. And I got this, uh, these vocals are from Arcade, so that's a, that's a pretty dope thing. Here's the beat, actually. I got an 808. So like that's, that's the kind of the vibe of the uh, actual beat, maybe like during the verses and stuff. And then I also have this other part where I switch up the uh, to a bass sound um, throughout the music. So like this could be like a drop or a part for the hook. All right, cool. So now that we understand basically the different elements of the beat, now let's talk about the quickest way to arrange this into song format. Now for like pop music, in uh, R&B music, sometimes the format might be a little bit different. You know, they go in uh, 12 bar uh, verses um, and in eight bar hooks, 12 bar verses. It has a bridge in it, things like that. So let's go ahead and start off with the intro, though. And I'm just going to keep it simple. We're going to just play just the melody. So we can come off with that, or we can start off with the uh, actual vocal and lead into the hook. So I can start off like, and even with the 808 here. And the main thing to keep in mind when it comes to doing the intro is you want to get the people's attention very quickly. So what I'm going to do is this is a process that we're going to use here to basically arrange this. You have this eight bar loop right here and basically what you could do is push command r and that's going to make uh like a duplicate copy of this and we can spread it out throughout the uh, workspace window right here all right and then from here what we're going to be doing is actually muting different parts within this workspace window and you do that through actually pushing Control m and so basically you'll mute the stuff that you don't want here first and then you finalize it here so I'm just going to go click on these. This is the intro. I'm going to push control M and that mutes everything within the actual workspace window right here. All right. So check this out. This is the intro. Super simple intro. I wanted to just go ahead and move into the hook. Now we're not going to have this uh, 808 on this bass sound in the uh, hook. Let's check this out. Let's see. So I think I want to start it off like that. So we have this intro, all right? Super simple, has an 808 melody and then like some vocals. Then when the actual hook drops, I want it to switch up. I don't want it to keep going with this 808. I want it to switch up to this bass. So that's what we got going. Um, from here, we might actually have the, hook, the kick come in later on in the, uh, in, in the hook and we'll just do it like that. So this is how it's gonna come in. We'll start off with the intro and we'll go to the hook. Alright, 
that. So now that we have our intro and we have our hook, all we have to do now is come up with our verse, okay? For the verse, I want to keep it simple, and we also want to like have it build over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this, this base for the 16 here, and then I'm going to go ahead and also cut out the kick, all right? Um, of course, the vocals are going to be cut out as well. And what I want to do is uh, we're going to start with like this melody, the melody one, and we'll alternate between melody one and melody two throughout the verse. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and play through. Um, just to go over this again. We cut out the uh, the part that's going throughout the hook, which is this vocal, and we're cutting out the kick in the first part of the uh, verse. Second part, we're bringing in the kick, and we're swapping the melodies out. So let's keep it going. All right, cool. So pretty much after you have your intro, your hook and your verse, it's easy from there um, because pretty much we're going to be repeating the uh, hook and the verse parts. Um, so what I'll do is I can just delete a lot of this extra stuff here. And then now I'm just going to highlight everything and push command R. OK, we're highlighting the hook and the verse push command R. And now I have a second hook and verse and then a third. And then what I could do is delete that part and come over here and grab this uh, intro and we'll put the same intro push command C and put uh, the intro where the outro is and to do a time check here is right where it needs to be we got two minutes and 48 seconds that's you know more than enough time for an actual uh, beat or record here um, and then what I'll do here as well we're gonna go ahead and just listen to it and see what else would needs to be done. Now, I will say for sure that you also are gonna want to create like um, transitions. And a simple way to do that is just to cut out like a measure um, of like the drums right before, you know, the whatever next phrase of your uh, beat is. And you don't have to do that all the time, but um, it, it, it can be something to help you out. Now for this beat, I'm not gonna do that just to keep it simple. All we're gonna do is just go over here. I have another track here and um, is a, a rise that I can use. I'm pushing Command K to do mu musical typing. And I'm just gonna do this rise uh, sound. We'll do that. We'll do that for our transitions and just go ahead and use a symbol to like bring it on home. And we actually already have that symbol right there. So we just need the uh, rise sound. That rise right there literally just could be right before each new section um, of the song. So we'll just keep on moving it around like this. I'm just holding down option, and when you do hold down option, you can just pretty much drag and drop this anywhere. And as you can see here, I'm using, I'm just keeping it simple, man. Um, for most part, the beat is ready to go. Um, you do want to add some variation to this, though, so it's not the same thing repeating over and over again. So let's just listen to it, and I'm going to show you some tricks that you could use um, in another video to, um, you know what I'm saying, make this sound pretty dope here as far as, like, giving some um, variation in the beat. But let's just listen to it.
All right, y'all. So that's the quickest way to arrange a pop slash R&B beat in Logic Pro 10. I hope that this helps out. Um, just to go over some tips and tricks here again, um, what was covered in the video. Basically, you start off with this eight bar loop. Your first thing you want to do is identify everything that's in the song and then try to identify the different pieces of your uh, track. OK, what's going to go where? Hey, is this going to go for the melody or is, I mean, not the melody, but the intro is going to go for the hook. Is this going to go for the verses? Once you can identify that, then you're going to come over here and you're going to spread everything out. Um, extend everything by pushing command R and basically making copies of your eight bar loop. And then what we covered is basically using control M to mute different pieces of the song right here in the workspace window. Okay. We finalize it here and then we use mutes and you can either use solo, the solo button here to test out things and then finalize it. Okay. So that's the quickest way to do it. And then once you actually come up with your hook and your verse for the most part you're just going to highlight your hook and your verse and then extend it by pushing command r and it's going to make copies of it all the way out here and then you can just do what i did right here while you're listening to it make a little adjustments just to make sure that the beat um flows pretty well and it has some variation to it as you can see right here i have a high pitch a low pitch melody and then a high pitch melody going for the hook i mean for the verse one then right here we cut the melody completely out and we just have the 808 and then it goes back to like a, a low pitch melody then i mix it up again and i have a high pitch melody and a low pitch melody and what that's going to do is just give a little bit of variation but anyway y'all thank you so much for watching if you have questions leave them in the comments below also if you have suggestions for more the quickest way to do things in logic pro 10 videos let me know in the comments and sections below um, also without further ado i'm going to also ask that you go to my site beatmakingbasics.com i have a lot of courses and drum kits and melody kits that i've created for you that's going to help you elevate your sound as a music producer and help you along the way also it's going to really help you save time okay so like these videos these uh, videos here on youtube are great um you know i give you a lot of value in these videos but the courses on my site they have hours and hours of content that you can download and it's all focused and in, in a uh, curriculum. So, you know, what I'm saying it's organized and you don't have to jump around and everything like that. So that's the benefit of actually going to my site, you know, and, and getting a course there. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. If anything else, don't if you don't do anything else, make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video. and Leave a comment, though. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We out.